bonjour. Today I'm just going to show you my, well, the, the uh, pieces of drawings and paintings that I've got in my art folder. Um, I do have other work art that I've done. Some of it's on the walls around the house. Some of it's in next door. Uh, some of it I've given to other people. Um, I think the majority of what I've done is on my Facebook page, uh, Foppy's Creations. And you can see what I've done on there if I've, if I've um, not shown you before. So what I've got in this folder, as I've noticed, just looking through it, I haven't actually finished all of it, but it gives you an idea of what I like. Um, and I like I like to do things with lots of detail. I find that very therapeutic and just, I've always enjoyed drawing and sketching. And then I, at school I found when I did the, uh, the sketch of the Bay City Rollers, I much preferred that because it always felt that as soon as I put paint to it, I, I felt I'd ruined it. I've got better on watercolours and things like that, and I've I've done a bit of acrylic, but um, I do prefer to sketch. Just sometimes it doesn't stand up very much. I suppose if I did it in ink, did instead it might all stand out more. But, but um, no, that's 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 my preference. But let me just show you now what I've started to do and what some of what I've finished. This was just a chicken I started. I did this, sort of got the idea of that from this drawing, or paint, sorry, photo. This is a cat and a rabbit that I started. One day I might finish it. This is a cat that I feel is looking a bit angry and a bit, it's almost going a bit boss eyed, a bit cross eyed. But, but detail again. This one I did in a art class. Used to have art classes in, a, in an art um, association that I belonged to. And I'm not very good at, um, I don't mind an art class, but when the teacher keeps coming and taking the brush off you and showing, no, you need to do it like this, that just makes me angry. Cause then all of a sudden that's, to me, that is now not my work. He's had his hand in it. So I didn't very often attend classes for that reason. It's another one, a still life that we did in a different class. This is one I did myself from a photograph I took of the church in the village. This is a half half finished chicken. I think this was one of my one of our chickens. Unfortunately we haven't got the chickens anymore. Once I got ill I we'd have to decide I had to get rid of them. This is just one I've done from a photograph, for, for, or the couple from a photograph, and the rest of it I've just put around it myself. I have no idea why I put the black line around the umbrella, but I did. And it's and even now, and it's still not the right perspective for that umbrella, and I know that. So This one is a still life again, a sketch, more detail. I've got a little pad here with some sketches that I've um, done. I mean, this one, I think I was trying to do a sketch in a circle just for a change because I've never done anything that will go in a, a round frame. This is where I was exploring doing faces from a. I've got a book that shows you how to draw faces and features, and some, sometimes it's best to use a grid, if you, as you can see on this one. I'm quite embarrassed in some ways putting these up because I've got friends who are fantastic artists and um, I'd, I'd love to be able to paint like them. And one particular friend, Jackie, she's absolutely amazing. Again, she, I love her work because, again, she does things with lots of detail. So, uh, you know, I just... I'm in awe of... I mean, she can do an old person with lots of wrinkles and it just looks fantastic another one and so one day I must go to her house and sit and do some painting or drawing with her a torso a torso from the side so we call bunny rabbits This 
was a picture from a photo, a friend's photo of the, her geese. This one is a cat licking the, the owner's nose. It's quite sweet. This is the wind side jeep window from next door. This is what my attempt at an old person. Didn't come out too bad, did it? And using lines, and lots, lots of lines, thicker lines to make the uh, the depth and the shadow. So Robin, I started. This one, it's all out of proportion, but it's a, like a um, cherub. I just started trying to draw. This one I can't, I'm not even totally sure what it is, but it's there's lots of detail in it again. It was just like a medieval lady in a, with a, uh, what do they call it? Like a cloak and hood and all that in on. But uh, the actual drawing it came from was very nice colours and everything. It tempted me, but I didn't finish it. And this one is a watercolour I've done on paper again, just started to do some flowers. In fact, just remember that one was actually done when I first used watercolour pencils. So I was trying to do that because sometimes you can do the detail better with watercolour pencils. And if any of you have ever used them, you know you you colour in as if you like you're colouring with colouring pencil and then you put water over the top afterwards. This one is um of my different perspective of some boots. See again. Yeah, detail again. This one is a, a different perspective of, it's not an easy one actually to get someone look, looking up and I did it from a drawing, but you get the impression she's looking up, but it's, you know, it's not fantastic, but it's okay. Okay, so that's that pad. Oh, and this is one, a, a grid again, we're trying to do a grid, trying to draw a cat. This one's a watercolour that I did in a, in a class. It's um, just sh showing how to do reflection of some mountains in the background. This one's just quite a nice bright one, quite quite nice. I think it it's almost deserves a frame, that one. This one's a robin sitting on a log. This is one of my first attempts at pastels, a fuchsia. I did another uh, fuchsia that I was really proud of and it was a pewter pot with red cherries in and around it. And my daughter saw it and that's it basically. She's got it in her house at the U in the UK at the moment. This is a sketch and again, I think I was beginning to use the watercolor pencils and it's of a um, an old ruin of a chateau. I've said in other videos that um, Lasse Le Chateau is Le Chateau, as, as in plural, because there are three chateaus in Lasse. So it's Chateau Lasse of three chateaus, basically. And um, one, the one I was, you know, went to show you on the day I broke my leg, or sorry, my foot, is the main one that's lived in and it's used and it's beautiful this one is the next one which is you get the gist of it being a chateau but it's a ruin you know obviously and you can go and sit inside and go it's still going to what were rooms but in, you can sit in this one and it's just a lovely surroundings to paint if you're a painter and the other one is there's hardly anything to it there's the third uh, chateau has just really been knocked down a lot and lots of just stones around really but this is the one this is what I did for that. It's not it's hard to show you this on this camera because it's obviously not I can't I need to show you closely, but at the same time I need you can't see it all in one go. I've got another one in here of that I think I painted another day. It's another still life. It's a teapot and milk jug and cup and saucer. This is one I did myself I love kingfishers I wanted to do that one 
This one, again, I'm quite proud. I've not done this perspective before, an owl's eye. So it shows you again, it's too big to show you on here properly, but that's that. This is uh, another one of one of my chickens I tried to do, to, didn't finish. I can only assume I was doing these at the art group and then we've run out of time and I've gone home and never gone back to it again. This one is I've done from a book. Um, sort of a, well it's a how-to book I suppose of art and it's really difficult getting the perspectives right, you know, the angle of the wall and the size of the table, all this sort of thing. It's quite difficult, not too bad, but could be better. And the whiteness in the middle is just where the sun was coming in through the window and shining on them, but it's, I don't know if that's really that obvious. You can see the light on the table and the legs. But, um, on the back of that is a, a flower I started to, to do. Again, never finished. Then we have a lamb, a little lamb that I did on a little, well, it's a board. This one is... A reindeer and a snow scene. I quite enjoyed that one. This is a little sketch out of the pad when I just was just having to go at using pastels. Just a giraffe. This one is showing again because I like to say I like doing detail and this is just showing different angles and things of hands and feet. Love it, love doing that one. This is one I just made up myself. It's just a style in the, oops, sorry, in the middle of a field. And it's, uh, it says Route 6 Kilometre de Poix. This is the other one I was saying, the other painting I said I did, a watercolour of that same chateau. And the last two are my pride and joys, really. This one I did, just a random one. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I was, a, again, I think it came from a, a how-to type book or just, I'd saw, I can't remember now, it might have been a picture or so. But it's my first ink drawing I did. And I, and I loved that as well, just a lady with a ponytail. Pleased with that one too. And the last one is a, a painting of a passion flower. I did. My dad absolutely loved passion flowers, and I wanted to do one in his honour. So I really, I really should get that one in a frame. Really, it's not, um, you know, gallery standard, but it's it's in honour of my dad, and I and I, I I'm very pleased with it basically. So that's that. Um, just giving you an idea, anyway. If there's a, so you've sort of seen what I'm capable of and not capable of and if there's any if you'd like me to do any drawing or painting or anything on the Foppy Creations then um, let me know in the comments below or email me or something and uh, yeah let me know what it is you prefer to do yourself or do you just like to watch basically um, yeah so that's it for now bye for now I'll see you in the next video au revoir